Okay, we've gathered here today to join in holy. Actually, let me. Check. Are all the new officers here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. We have gathered here today to join in holy matrimony. On the one hand, guild and gaming community casual pizza cats, and on the other hand, four new husbands by the names of Devi, Yoso, Panox, and Sharp Eye. The guild demands a harem, and she is given a harem. At the same time, we have gathered to lay to rest two and a half space cat. In sum, today is a triple wedding and two and a half a funeral. Casual Pizza Cats is currently 1,662 days old, or roughly four and a half years. We started as a group of friends, and I'm glad to say that all of us here have made a whole bunch more friends and enemies in the last couple of years. Moreover, I am sure that with the new team at the helm, this is a trend that will continue. Now, as is good practice during a wedding, I get to say some nice things about the soon-to-be harm members. First of all, Sharp Eye. He came to us shortly before the LAN party that took place last summer and already proclaimed he wished to join the LAN party before even finishing his straight kitten trial. With a three-hour time difference, he has been ready to raid until 3.30 a.m. twice a week with us for months now. And this crazy night owl has quickly found his place in the guild, has been doing recruitment for a few months now, and is pumped for even more recruitment and responsibility. Bless his heart. Now, Sharp Eye, where are you at? Please, please kneel. <laughs> Three hundred bucks. Uh, I hereby knight you, Space Cat, which means you have to sacrifice precious hours to the guild, and she will give you mostly memes in return, much like a real marriage. Ooh, motherfucker! No. Amazing. Please help. Yes, please stop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Secondly, based on people's applications to the guild, a recruiter, uh, the person who recruits uh, somebody into the guild, writes a short synopsis of their recruitment talk and whatever else can be relevant. And Devi was described as, considering his lack of recent rating experience, a gamble. <laughs> and Devi, <laughs> we're all gambling so much, especially in the Dagmimba channel, because Devi went from a raid gamble to raid leader. Devi, who, by the way, disengaged basically beyond the North Pole and decided to stay and live there. This somewhat stoic but ultra-chill man has been a solid backup rate leader for a few months now, and I'm already certain that his soothing presence will soften a lot of future officer debate. Devi, please deal. While well, I search for your name. Last line. I swear, if they make better... this. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. Beautiful. I hereby knight you, Space Cat. May you be granted from the heavens the holy knowledge of being able to decipher whatever Rick types as you prepare strategies for future raids together. Thank you, thank you. Very <laughs> clap. Much clap. Thirdly, Panox. <clears throat> His first raid with us was on 8 January 2017, and we haven't been able to get rid of him since for over a year as main tank, and more recently on his warlock. In fact, with his Norwegian siren song and siegeman Dagmon Candy, he hasn't only lured several guildies to come visit him in Norway, but he has also stolen everybody's hearts and dental health during the last LAN party. If you ever want to talk about nerd shit like D&D or very, very long fantasy book series, Panox has a special button that if you flip it on, he does not stop talking. Please use this plus knowledge with caution. And Panox? Or oh, you're a land for. Land fair? Please kneel. Amazing. I hereby knight you, Space Cat. May the main swaps you will manage not be so flavor of the month that you will have to swap them to something else every single week. Very, very, very great. Very, 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 very. Fourthly, Yoso, who are the Yoso, who of the new harem has been with us for the longest. Yoso is a remnant from when we cross, when we raided Cross Realm, which was fine when we did heroic in Emerald Nightmare, and not so much after. We kept telling him that he should serve a swap and join the guild, but he was like, nah. Until we actually started doing Mythic to everybody's surprise, and the FOMO hit him so hard and has kept him with us ever since, for which we are very, very grateful. 
Yoso clicks keys hard and memes harder, but he has taken his healing leading task very seriously and has been doing this very, very well to all of our happiness. Yoso, please kneel and do not suicide. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hereby, I knight you, Space Cat. May your AAs stay atrocious and please never learn to spell any names or use interpunction. <laughs> Finally, although. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Finally, although, or maybe because she's already been a Space Cat for 1662 days, she definitely also deserves to have something said about her. If you permit me to be nostalgic for just a moment, I well remember the days when we shared a stuffy little room at the university library and we would be there with our laptops at 8.15 in the morning to do garrison dailies because at 9 a.m., Laura's parental lock, controlled by Rolf, would turn on and there would be no more WoW in the library. Despite the fact that Laura on 17 May 2015 voted to name the guild either Pizza Cats or Samurai Pizza Cats, she is not one to hold a grudge, and she has consistently been the most devoted officer of us all. She has always been present, hardworking, and not just an excellent manager of this community, but also really is cornerstone. On top of that all, she's also a sick player. To find all of those qualities in one person is rare, and we must treasure it. There is no one I'm happier to make Crazy Cat Lady, because despite the fluffy duck she owns, she basically already is the Crazy Cat Lady. Oh, I didn't make a joke with the with the kneeling. How do I? Huh? How do I make you? How do I make you the GM? <laughs> right click name. Oh, oh, rock. Well prepared. Well prepared. Nice. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> <a movie. laughs> Finally. I guess that works. <laughs> How do I do this? You right click her uh, in guild. Um, no, it's a little more intricate, I think. Oh, here. Really. Oh shit. Mm. Oh, hey. yay! Nice, 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 nice. Now, the wedding there. festivities are almost allowed to begin, but first I would like to say a few words about the two and a half space cats we are burying today. Firstly, Erik or Strix. While he played WoW before, he wasn't playing when the guild started. In fact, we literally had to buy his DPS as we needed another raider, and he was broke and possibly too busy running 7D D campaigns for half of the guild. In the early years, together with his rogue squad, rest in peace, he consistently colored the top of details. Details? Damage meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, he consistently colored the top of the damage meters yellow, and he spent many hours arguing, mostly really like arguing, about raid strategy with Rick and Mark, rest in peace, in the last expansion already. But. The times of Idol's strategy talk passed as Eric grew up to be a healthy adult and had to start taking responsibilities, namely by actually rate leading us beautifully through the previous tiers, rounding off his career with Ursula Calamari. Thank you for your valiant service and spending your weekends DMing people to please sign while you were actually too busy being drunk at metal festivals. Please lie down. Way ahead of you. <laughs> 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 I hereby declare the victim deceased. May he have no further ex excuses to slack on his DPS again. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Not even street cat lol. Oh. Nope. Secondly, <laughs> what? secondly, I'll uh, I'll talk about myself. I have had the best <laughs> of times in this officer team and also the worst of times with 400 new messages about minor details in loot rules. Although that's not actually true, that those were the worst of times. Passionate discussions about basically every piece of guild policy has been what has made this team so enjoyable because it means we all care very much about every little aspect of this community. So in that sense, I am a little jealous of the new team because you guys get to start and have already started to explore all the cool and less cool aspects of community and guild management and it'll be hard work but it pays off amazingly what okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, laura help what do i do demote me uh he's actually Thank provo you. but okay <laughs> may i rest in peace and take this new time 
this new free time to do useful things such as getting flying and not watch Vine compilations on YouTube. Finally, half of Rick or half of Dreider. I don't think I would exaggerate when I say Rick is one of the most selfless people in the guild. He must have a strong back because he has carried many of us, our alts and our moms through whatever content to help us get geared. He is always happy to help out new people with explanations or maths or easy and get good and somehow still has time left to get rich to get rich on the auction house. For your information, he is now transporting his auction house math magic to kids because he got a job as a teacher, which is awesome. Because imagine being taught by a gender, they really have come far in this world. Since the start <laughs> of the guild, he has been backup raid leader, the man behind the throne, but it looks like he was just biding his time until they all died because now he is finally really taking the throne. Rick, please sit. Which is in between the kneeling and lying down. <laughs> oh, really? So <laughs> uh, half may... your movement then if you stand up. <laughs> uh, hmm. May your raiders sign early and not de-sign two hours before the raid. And now I had a joke here that Rick had to quickly try and demote himself so that the new officers would have to demote his 25, 250 alts, but he already demoted all of his alts, so I googled a joke instead. <laughs> what the... <laughs> I, I googled best wow jokes, and, and this was it. How many dwarves does it take to screw in a light bulb? The answer is two. One to hold the light bulb in place, and one to drink until the room starts spinning. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you may now, uh, you may now demote Rick. And, uh, that, was, uh, that was it for me. Thank you for listening to my uh, excessive speech. I had a good time saying something about everybody and uh, I'll have a better time seeing other people do the work and I'm enjoying uh, the free time. Thank you very much, guys. If anyone else would still like to add something, they're very welcome to. And otherwise, I would love to make a little group picture of this beautiful moment. No? Okay, perfect. Let's make a little... <laughs> Thank God. Uh... Grabby bitch. <laughs> I think the, the the bot is still muted. Or... Yeah, I sort of muted the bot. Smart. Uh, I would say gather gather around uh, the the X and these markers and look towards the blue, so that we have the cool ass background in the background. And make sure you get up on the platform over here. Here ish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Background, background. Damn right. And I don't care whether you're standing or sitting. This beautiful moment. Do we have the team on that side? Yeah. No, what I... side? What? <laughs> <laughs> Was it incidental? Well, don't die, Yosa. <laughs> okay. Yosa, don't be edgy. <laughs> How do I pull that? You guys know the thing? You know the flex thing. Is what we do. Well, Beautiful. my flex is actually pretty cool. Noise! Thank you very much, guys. You now have new overlords. 